So great to be here. Yeah, so tell me what, what is the head of platform, what, what's your role within Slack? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess the first question is what is the Slack platform? Yeah. And my answer to that is if you know Slack, you already know the Slack platform because uh, Slack is a platform inherently at its core. And if you view Slack, you know that it, it works really well because it works with all the software that you already use. And so um, we really have one mission that unifies everything we do at Slack, and that's to make work simpler, more pleasant, and more productive. And mm. so our platform is an open API, it's an open set of APIs, and a variety of developer tools that we're continuing to improve that make it really easy for uh, the largest B2B and enterprise developers, as well as upstart teams that, are, that have big ideas about new things they can do on Slack to build on top of our platform. You know, it's interesting to me that I've discovered in recent years, you, you folks at Slack have known this forever, um, that in a way the tool of choice for operations people is to live in products like, like Slack. I've heard the term chat ops mm -hmm. kind of come up in the last year because when you're in ops, what you need to do is in constant communication with other people that have a common interest and see right. that in real time. Yeah. And so is, talk a bit about how chat ops is kind of the use case for, a use case for Slack. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the way that I think about it is, is in the old models when you might receive notifications. So something happens. Uh, yeah. One of the really valuable alerts that sits on, all, on top of all the great data that you guys crunch and th synthesize down into actionable information, um, something happens and you need to get the word out. Um, in the old model, that would go out through email, or it might go out through app notifications. And I, I liken that to um, having your entire ops team behind a bunch of doors, and each person is behind that door alone. And a piece of paper gets stuck underneath the door, and, and you hope they got it, you hope yeah. they were there, um, you hope they read it, but none of those people actually know who else was notified, and they also don't know if somebody's already doing something about it. Right. And so in Slack, it's, it's actually more like somebody walks into a room with your entire team sitting there, and over the loudspeaker says, something happened. And so everyone in the room knows that they have the same amount of information, and it's very clear whether or not somebody's taken action upon it. And so Slack creates that um, communication pattern that uh, really shortens the distance between getting that valuable insight and taking action upon it. And we see that for chat ops, but we see that for a variety of different use cases as well. And so uh, I, I'm not surprised to see it's taking off there, and it certainly is. Absolutely. And can you talk about some other interesting um, examples of the way the platform's being used, maybe less yeah. obvious ones or yeah. cool ones that have crossed your desk? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, we have, right now, we have about 80 different integrations on the platform, of, of which New Relic is one. And many of those include developer tools like GitHub and Asana, as well as things like uh, Jenkins and other continuous integration tools, other tools that are really helpful for teams to be able to know what's going on with their applications and take action upon it. But we're actually taking steps to make it a lot easier for developers to build integration with um, all different types of software in Slack. And so a couple of examples that have just launched recently, um, one in specific that um, helps uh, our team get around to business meetings is, uh, is Lyft. So Lyft uh, took our new product last week that we announced that makes it really easy to build a slash command that gives you this command line interface to some of all of the, you know, the, the services that you already use every day. And you can request a car from right within Slack um, just as easily as you could type another command line. Nice. Um, and, and, so, and so you can say slash lift, go home, and your car will be there in just a few minutes. And so that's just one step. And we already see that getting used within our team. And uh, we're really taking a lot of steps to make it easier for developers to build great experiences on Slack. And for teams to be able to install them and use them. And so we've got, we've got our work cut out for us, but, um, but we're, uh, we're moving really fast, and we think there's going to be a lot of great things to come in the coming months and years. Well, I mean, if there's one thing I'm confident in, history has shown you guys really move at an amazing pace. It's all driven by a great customer experience that people love right. to use the product. I think we share that philosophy with how we build our products. Yep. And that's why it's been a wonderful joy partnering with you and the great team at Slack. So thank Absolutely. you for coming. Thanks so much for having me. All right, us. thank you.